Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <clears throat> yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? 
a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Hey, hired help only. It's a metronome. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Thank you. 
Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. The Ricketts. No trespassing. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. I'll just take a little. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go.
Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? Navy dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse, right? Yes. This mm -hmm. is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We have like two like full-time programmers who are doing nothing but programming the iMuse transitions. Because like game. it's a main theme outside, and then every time you go into one of these inner locations or inside the the house, it would enable or disable instruments, and it right. would change the theme a little right. bit. Right. Right. Yeah, no, iMuse was like absolutely amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Touch it with my hands. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> 